Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's the Shark Stratos Corded Vacuum Pet Pro model, apparently Shark's best ever hair pickup vacuum cleaner. I'll be taking it all out of the box, showing you how to assemble it all. Once we've assembled it all, I'll then show you how the vacuum cleaner actually works with a bit of a demonstration, showing all the different attachments, vacuuming a hard floor and a rug and a carpet, and basically just a quick review of it. Now I bought this vacuum cleaner with my hard earned cash. This is not a sponsored link. And this woman on the back of the cover looks extremely happy while she's vacuuming. And my wife doesn't look that happy when she's doing the vacuuming. That's because it's always me doing the vacuuming, Lurgs. That is true. I'm not actually very good at it. Now the reason we got this Shark vacuum cleaner is because we used to have a Dyson. We've got lots of people in the house with long hair. Long hair. And all this long hair used to get caught up in the brush on the Dyson. And then every time you did a vacuum, you'd have to get out a pair of scissors and cut out all the hairs before you could use it again. And this Shark Stratos doesn't have that problem. It actually somehow cuts the hairs up. And we've also got Daisy the Dalmatian. So we've got all of her dog hairs all over the house as well. So we just wanted something that's gonna pick up everything. Right, let's get cracking. All the packing was in cardboard and paper, which is great, no polystyrene. I've taken everything out of the box here. These are all the parts and accessories that you get with the shark. And this looks like the ultimate lightsaber. I reckon I can take on the whole evil empire with this. No, Luke, I am your father. Right, enough silliness. Let's get back to the shark stratos. First of all, this needs to be clicked into the up position. Then take this lightsaber wand. This has to go in a specific way like this. So just push it down and you'll hear it click into place. You can see those little clicks there and they've just clicked into place. And this is the main vortex unit. This slides down. When you're putting together this Stratos vacuum cleaner, don't force anything. It should all be nice and simple. So just push it down and then it clicks into place. Never force anything. If it feels like it's not going in, just remove it and try again. We've got this handle accessory. Again, this can only go in one way. Push it down. And that is clicked into place. And the other end goes into this hose connection here. Slide it in, that's clicked nicely into place. When you're putting all these accessories together, you do get a nice firm click as it goes in. Secure the hose at the back of the wand, just push that in. You can remove that at any time when you're vacuuming the sofa or any corner bits in your rooms. You've got these accessories here. One goes on either side. Just got this small holdall. That brush attachment does actually remove and I'll show you that later on. This is for vacuuming the stairs. I'll show you that later on as well. We've got the long hose attachment there. Just gonna put that on the other side. And you also get this air freshener anti-odor technology, which looks like a tin of cat food. <laughs> Looks like a tiny tin of tuna or something, or maybe it's a tin of shark. Yeah, yuck. But this is the dial and the cartridge. So we need to fit that first. Just open that up like a can of tuna. 
and hope there's no cats around because they'll all be running up towards you. Ooh, shark food. This is the anti-odor technology. Make sure that goes in the recycling. And it is adjustable. You can have it on maximum odor or minimum odor. I'm gonna set it to halfway, so we'll do that in a second. To line up the arrow, push it downwards. Once that's pushed downwards into place, you then lift that handle up and then you turn it and that turns it to how strong you want it. So slightly there is the minimum odor. And then on the maximum, that means maximum air freshness when you're actually vacuuming. Now I'm going to set it to about halfway and then fold that handle back down. And that is the anti-odor technology installed. Now I'm just going to put the cable on. Just turn this up the right way. And then you're basically just going round and round and round. And then when you get to the end near the plug, there's a small clip and that just clips onto itself on one of the wires. So you can just push that on. And on the handle here, it's got three settings. If I just flip this footage over, so you've got thick carpet or rug, low pile carpet or hard floor. Now, some people have complained about the length of the cord not being long enough, but this is eight meters long, which is about 24 feet. So that's plenty long enough for most houses, unless you live in a mansion or a castle. Now I'm gonna hoover this rug first. Oh, I just said hoover, that's a brand name. I'm gonna vacuum this rug first, which is pretty filthy with dog's hairs and hairs and dirt, just to see how efficient this shark vacuum is out of the box. Put your foot on the bottom and then pull the handle backwards to release it. So I'm gonna set it to carpet low pile. It's got a light here showing you which one it's on. So I've got it on the middle one, turn it on. Now just be careful because it's got this anti hair wrap technology it does sort of cut whatever goes up inside it so just be careful don't vacuum over any wires or things like that because it will start shredding it it's just a and the anti odor technology is really really good i mean you haven't got smell of vision i haven't got smell of vision but if we did you'd be able to smell that this vacuum cleaner it's just pumping out nice, fresh, air freshener type air. I really like this vacuum cleaner because you can move it left and right. That allows you to get underneath radiators into corners and crevices in the kitchen. Really, really useful. On, my, on our old vacuum cleaner, we couldn't do that because it was in a fixed position. So it was really hard to get into corners or underneath radiators. Just speeding this footage up. Fabulous. Right, let's check this rug. That is so good. That is so clean. All the dog hairs that have come up. Let's see what it looked like before. Absolutely amazing. Really good pickup. Really good. Just going to show you on a normal carpet in the hall, in a hallway. And it's got an LED light on the front, which is useful. If anything ever gets trapped in the brush, the LED light will turn red. So switch it off straight away. This is just a demonstration of it getting underneath a radiator. So it's really good, you can get right underneath things. Now I'm gonna set it to hard floor setting, which is the switch at the lowest end. And then turn it on. This is vacuuming a tiled floor. You can see how low it gets. You can get right underneath 
any chairs or furniture really really good and then this is in the corner of the kitchen so you can lean it right over so it gets right into the corners and crevices really really handy if you can't get into all the crevices obviously you can use the attachments i'm just going to use the handle release first which is just the small version i'll show you the wand release after this one and then we can just put the small hose attachment on the end this just pushes on it doesn't clip into position it just pushes on Then turn it on. And that allows much, much finer vacuuming in corners and crevices. And we've also got a powered release for the stairs and I'll show you that as well. And we've got this brush attachment here that actually does come off just by pushing that button. So this is good for vacuuming sofas to put the brush attachment back on it just clips into place and my wife's taken over now with the vacuuming she is much better at it than i am this brush attachment is adjustable to get into crevices now i'll show you how the wand release works this gives you much more extra length good for vacuuming ceilings or roof lights or extending it upstairs so this is the lightsaber wand release now let's turn it on you can reach up really high any cobwebs any high ceilings so that's really handy to slot it back into place just push it down and then it clips in remember to put this ball joint back in that just clips in there just push it it's obviously easier with two hands and the great thing about this shark stratos is i've just been using this for about 10 or 15 minutes and we've got a house full of women with long hair and look at that literally no hair on the brush absolutely amazing and this is our old vacuum cleaner and this is what it used to look like after we've done 10 minutes of vacuuming around the house full of hair and that starts to impair the efficiency of the brush and it doesn't pick it up as quick and we were forever getting scissors out and cutting all the hairs out so that is really useful that we don't have to do that anymore now i'll show you the powered lift away which enables you to vacuum stairs to remove that handle first we've got this stair cleaning attachment here and you've got this button on the top if you push that that releases the vortex cylinder and it comes apart just as easy as that then you can carry that around and take it wherever you want within the eight meter range that you've got on the cord this is really handy for going up and down the stairs because you can just carry it with you really neat feature that is I'm vacuuming the stairway to heaven. Well, not heaven, it's just the bedroom. Don't really want to go to heaven just yet. To put the cylinder back on, just line it up next to the wand, push it down, and it clicks into place. Then remember to put the hose back in that clips into place and then the ball joint 
Now we're just going to empty the cylinder, so switch it off and unplug it. To release the cylinder, push this button here. Pull it out towards you and then lift. Now it looks like it's really full up, but oddly it's only kind of half the cylinder that it uses. Whereas on our old Dyson, it used to be the full cylinder. So push this button at the bottom, button at the bottom, try saying that three times really quickly and then get rid of all the dirt. And then that just clips back up. I'll make another maintenance video later on about how to clean all the filters and the Vortex cylinder. You can actually access the top, push these two buttons inwards, that lifts the top up. So if you've got any bundles of hair and dirt stuck in the top there, you can get those out nice and easily. Just close that, it just clips into place. Now to put this cylinder back on, put it in at an angle of about 45 degrees. So it rests in there gently, then just push it backwards and it clips into place. And I tell you what, we are really, really pleased with this vacuum cleaner and I hope you're pleased with yours too. And I tell you what, I think that definitely deserves a lovely cup of tea. Go and put the kettle on. Oh. Whilst the sun sets on this video, in the top right is a link on how to remove mould from silicon with no scrubbing. In the top left, how to defrost your freezer easily in under 15 minutes. And in the bottom left, how to clean your UPVC guttering so it stays clean. I hope that was useful to you. Happy vacuuming.